Gary Martin arrived at the Henry Pratt plant at around 6.45 in the morning on February 15th. Moments later, he encountered co-worker Vicente Juarez and informed him he was worried about being terminated for a safety violation involving safety glasses. Martin then told a group of workers about the possibility of being fired. According to the report, he told one employee, if I get fired, I'm going to kill every expletive in here. I'm going to blow up police. The worker did not report the threats, even though he knew Martin carried a gun in his vehicle. However, this time, Martin had the gun with him. Around 1 o'clock, a meeting to terminate Martin started. Martin began using profanity, which forced plant manager Josh Picard to say the conversation was over. Martin replied, yeah, it's over, and moments later, the shooting began. Picard, HR manager Clayton Parks, union rep Russell Beyer, and human resource intern Trevor Wenner are all killed. 45-year-old Martin then headed to the loading dock area where he shot Juarez, who he specifically targeted. Minutes later, Officer Marco Gomez arrived to the scene and was shot in the hip. Four other officers trying to rescue him were also shot. Today, the city of Aurora honored the police department and the five injured officers were given the Blue Star Award. I felt the gunshot in the back and my leg. Uh, try to make it to where we could be on at least some protection. We assumed that he was just inside the door. I couldn't see him because I had the ballistic shield in front of me. Uh, and that's when I got hit. Uh, and then I fell back to a car that was parked in front of that doorway. And as I was retreating back, I got shot again in the same leg. Other officers entered the main warehouse and located Martin in a separate room and shot and killed him. The King County State's Attorney's report also makes clear the officers were justified in shooting Martin. In the newsroom, Cesar Rodriguez, CBS2 News. Erica, back to you. Cesar, thank you. And